Problem number 55 of section 2.7 asks us to reprove the famous identity from trigonometry, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. Now, the way that we're going to do this is to differentiate the left-hand side of this equation. So let's just, uh, say that f of x equals sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x. Now, we're going to take the derivative of f, show that it's equal to 0, uh, which implies that f is a constant function. And then from there, all that will be left to determine is which constant, for which we can just simply choose a simple value, say x equals 0, and show that uh, it is indeed 1. So start out by finding f prime of x. Uh, well, let's see. First off, we need to take um, the derivative of the first part. So we have 2 uh, times uh, sine of x. Now, we need, this is actually a chain rule problem since we're taking sine squared of x. So we lower the power by 1 and then multiply by the inside function, which is just sine of x, so, or the derivative of the inside function. So we multiply by cosine of x. Now, then we add um, 2 times cosine of x. Again, this is a chain rule problem again, so we multiply by the derivative of the inside, uh, which is cosine. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And we see that f prime of x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x uh, minus 2 cosine x sine of x. So the derivative is, in fact, equal to 0. So now we have that f of x equals c for some constant c. Right, now let's just pick an easy value uh, to evaluate, or an easy number to evaluate f at and see what is c. Now, easy value would probably uh, be just 0. So let's see f of 0. Well, sine squared of 0 um, is just going to be uh, sine of 0 squared, so sine of 0 is 0. Now, cosine of 0 is 1, and 1 squared is one. So we see that uh, f of 0 is equal to 1, but since f is a constant function, it has to be equal to 1 uh, no matter what value uh, we evaluate it at. So you can see that this identity is indeed true.